Today we're going to be looking at squares, cubes, square roots and cube roots. So to start with squares in the number world, this is a simple idea. 3 squared means 3 times 3, where that little 2 up there just means you've got one, two threes that get multiplied together. So 3 times 3, which is 9. Now we're going to have a look at the square root. And we're going to be talking about, in this whole thing, the positive square root. So we're going to work out the square root of 9, and the answer to that is 3. So let's just think about what is the square root of 9. What does it mean when someone asks you to find out the square root of 9? Well, what they're actually asking is what positive number multiplied by itself will give you 9 as the answer. So, they're saying, what number multiplied by itself will give you 9 as the answer? And we know quite obviously that the answer to that question is 3. So the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, pause the video and quickly try these two for yourself. What is the square root of 36? And what will square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 be equal to? Pause and try. Okay, so the square root of 36 is just going to be 6. Why? Because 6 times 6 is 36. And that's what we're looking for when we're looking for the square root. What positive number multiplied by itself will give you 36? Okay, root 2 times root 2. Well, square root of 2 is actually a funny number. If you go and plug it into your calculator, you'll see it doesn't come out as a nice whole number. In fact, it comes out as 1, 4, comma, and it goes on and on and on. Well, we don't actually need to know exactly what the square root of 2 is to know that the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 must give you the answer of 2. Because the definition of a square root is it's the thing that multiplied by itself will give you 2 as the answer. So if you take root 2 times root 2, you'll get 2. If you take root 5 times root 5, you'll get 5. If you take root 100 times root 100, you'll get 100. If you take root 1002 times root 1002, you'll get 1002. So in a very similar way, we have cubes and cube roots. So for example, what do we mean by a cube? 4 cubed just means, that little 3 means, We've got three fours that all get multiplied together, and four times four times four is equal to 64. Our cube root is written like that, with a little three there, and the cube root of 64 is four. Because when we're asking, if we're asking what is the cube root of 64, what we're asking is what number when you multiply it by itself three times will give you 64 as the answer. And because we know 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, we know that the cube root of 64 is 4. What I have for you here is a list of all the squares from 0 squared to 12 squared and the related square roots and all the cubes from 0 cubed to 6 cubed and the related cube roots. And it's really helpful if you get very familiar with these so that you know them almost instantly. So I'd like you to know almost instantly that 6 cubed is 216 and the cube root of 216 is just 6. So worth spending time getting to know these well. Now, a funny question that we might be asked to answer would be something like, what is the square root of 23 times 23? And that's going to be a strange one to answer. So to help us answer it, let's just go back to the definition of square root, right? If I asked you what's the square root of 16, remember, I'm asking you what multiplied by itself will give you that thing there, the 16, as the answer. So, and then we work out quite easily that that's 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, right? So if someone is busy asking me, well, what's the square root of 23 times 23, right? Then what they're asking me is, 
what multiplied by itself will give me that thing in there as the answer. So what multiplied by itself will give me 23 times 23 as the answer. Well, obviously, what has to go in here has to be 23. So the answer to this is 23.